Yeah, on the Democratic side, you have incumbent Maggie Hassan, who has been both governor of the state and U.S. Senator uh, versus a, a newcomer of sorts. I mean, this is uh, retired General Don Bolduc's second attempt uh, to run for the U.S. Senate. And sure enough, uh, he has done really a great job of grassroots politicking in the New Hampshire tradition. There's a lot of discontent among New Hampshire's independent voters among about the economy, especially inflation. And that's creating some headwinds for Maggie Hassan and given Don Bolduc a bit of a tailwind as the alternative. I mean, New Hampshire's not an island, right? What, what affects the country will affect New Hampshire. And especially in New Hampshire, we've seen uh, rising gas prices over the last month. Uh, a lot of talk about the cost of heating oil. No one thinks Don Bolduc will spell the difference between a majority and a minority. However, Don Bolduc could make the difference between a razor thin Republican majority and say the 52nd, 53rd, maybe even 54th Republican seat, which could give Mitch McConnell or whoever the Senate majority leader is some wiggle room. During his primary run, he cast a lot of shade on the 2020 elections talked a lot about alleged irregularities and so forth. Then after he won the Republican primary in September, he did an about face, uh, said on national television that the election was not stolen and that sounded definitive, but occasionally we've heard some backsliding on that. Uh, he's called attention to alleged irregularities in New Hampshire that have never been tr proven true, such as that you know, buses of voters from other states are brought up to New Hampshire. So there has been some question, uh, you know, if it is a close election, will Don Baldock raise some of those allegations again? The question for Maggie Hassan is, how far ahead of Joe Biden can she run on election day? Maggie Hassan has to be able to make a lot of inroads among Joe Biden disapprovers. And the question for those Joe Biden disapprovers is, are they in a mood to fire Maggie Hassan in order to punish Joe Biden? And do they see Don Bolduc as a plausible alternative?